What's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't even speak. What's up? Hey, Brussels no Sprouts. Hey, Nyla and Kiara and Miss Chelsea and Brenda and Eartha. Yes. What's up, PJ? Yes. What's up, Turner 620? Yes. What's up, Miss Fancy Pants? Baby, what's up? What's up, C. John? Child. What's up, Aaliyah? Child, what's up, Kay? Yes, what's up, Brittany? Yes, what's up, Sarkeisha and Cheryl? Baby, I'm going to wait for a few more people to get up in here, and then we're going to get into this mess. You ain't missed nothing, girl. I ain't even started talking. Okay? You ain't missed nothing yet. We're about to get into this mess, though. Mm -hmm. When I tell y'all... When I tell y'all, <laughs> today has been the definition of mess. Girl, I ain't even got no good sleep today. That's how busy it's been in these. Streets. When I tell y'all, no lie, I went out last night, um, did Sunday fun day. I didn't really eat. Thank you, Latricia, Latrice, Latrice, thank you. It's been a day, okay? Okay, thank you for the super chat. I didn't really eat a lot yesterday. So, um, when I started drinking, I, basically I got drunk real, like really quickly. I had some yogurt and like a few chicken nuggets earlier that day. So, girl, I was when I tell you I was gone, baby. When I tell you I was gone, <laughs> I didn't get, I didn't walk into my apartment until almost five o'clock. I think it was, I think it was after four, almost five o'clock this morning. And I went to sleep around after six. And <laughs> child, I went, I got up to go to the restroom and I checked my phone because I'm one of those people who sleep with their phones on vibrate. I turn my ringer off, baby. But the people who need to get through, if they call, they can get through. So I check my text messages. <laughs> and the first thing I saw was Robin and Candace from one of my friends. Shout out to Carlos. I said, wait a minute. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said, no. I said the oh, devil no. <laughs> I said the devil is busy. <laughs> Let me read the super chats. 
This is for your niece's birthday. Tell her my three-year-old likes ice cream, too. Okay, I'll make sure she gets the super chat, baby. Thank you. I miss Aunt Wendy bad. She would have had a field day today, but you got the torch, cousin. Thank you. Okay. So Candace, Candace, Candace has, um, you know, I want to start out with Robin. Let's start out with Miss Robin. <laughs> They say Robin. They say Robin got fired. <laughs> I know we're gonna get into it about whether or not Candace got fired, or either or either she decided to chunk Deuce, right? They say Candace got. They say they say Robin got fired. I see a lot of people. I always talk about, and, it, and it's true to us. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say say that it's not true. Do I believe at one point, just like a lot of the housewives, they get they, they, they're gassed up by the comments? So do I believe that Candace would sometimes read the comments and it would kind of gas her up? Yes, I do believe that. But I believe that's like with a lot of people. Um, it happens to me. Girl, if I'm on live with y'all, girl, and I'm and we going back and forth in the lives, not in a bad way, but we just interacting and kiki and laughing. Like I start, I like I start to get like this energy, <laughs> you know, and it just gets my messy spirit more hyper than what it already is, right? So I I can see Candace getting online and probably thinking something, and then seeing some of the viewers say things, and then it gasses her up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I want to say something to the to the La Robins. Is that what y'all call yourselves? Lilla Robbins? Y'all really failed your girl. Let me tell y'all something. I tried to tell y'all. Anybody with a little bit of sense knew that when Robin went behind a paywall and charged the girls and boys $5 so she could expose her reality and not expose it on a reality show that she gets paid Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And y'all saw up and down, it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> and the people who had a little bit of sense tried to tell y'all, where you work at? Where you work at, well, your boss will be okay with you going to a competitor <laughs> and doing what they pay you to do. Like I said in my video earlier, you can't work for Saks and Nordstrom at the same time, okay? You can't work at Neiman's and Zara at the same time. Y'all really gassed up Robin <laughs> when it came to that paywall. And then, it, then she got down to... <laughs> She got down to the show and she pretended as if she was Nene Leakes and she had all this personality. Robin had already told you, no, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you, I know first, I know firsthand you can't. You can't tell me nothing about retail. I worked at Zara. I tried to get a job at, at Neiman Marcus. They told me no. Anytime you work at Saks, you cannot work at Nordstrom. If they find out that you are going to a competitor, you will be walked out the same exact day. <laughs> no one has ever worked at Nordstrom and Saks at the same time. No one has ever worked at, and it was known. No one has ever worked at Neiman's and Saks at the same time. When I worked at Zara, I couldn't go to Neiman's. They told me if you want to work at Neiman's, you're gonna have to quit. You're gonna have to quit Zara. And those are two completely different stores. Zara and Neiman's ain't on, ain't on the same level. If you work at multiple retail spots at the same time, I can almost guarantee you your employer does not know. But the girls who worked at Nordstrom, if it was found out that they were going to Saks, they will let you go that same exact day, even if you put a two weeks notice in. You can put a two weeks notice in, but if HR finds out, oh, you're going to Saks, girl, they're going to come and tap you on your shoulder and tell you today's your last day. <laughs> So I'm just saying, okay? So I don't know why Robin thought that she was going to go down to the Patreon and tell her business for $5 and 
and still have a job over at Bravo. Robin's personality wasn't even that of a Nene Leakes for her to feel as though she could get away with something like that. It would be even Robin told y'all she's she, she's starless. <laughs> when your girl, girl, when your girl, when your girl tell you that she's starless, then you know that it's a problem. When she tells you that she is not a star. <laughs> It would be one thing if Robin had the personality of a Nene Leaks, but girl, Robin isn't even not is not that interesting to feel that she could pull a stunt in a show like that and still have a job. I think they used Robin to get what they could get out of her, and then girl, they released her to the community when the when it was all said and done. We'll bring her back for season eight, but after this season, girl, she can go. She can go on. on. She not, she not even a top housewife like that in the first place, if we're going to be honest about it. It's no shade to Robin. I don't have no issues with Robin. But, girl, as it, as it, pertains, to rea girl, it's, as it pertains to reality stars, girl, she's just not that interesting. <laughs> Candace. Candace, I'm not going to lie. I was a little sad. I was. I was torn. On one hand, I felt like, on one hand, I feel like it's a good thing that Candace is not returning to the show, at least for next season. We don't know what, se we don't know what season 10, you know, will be like, but at least for next season, we know that she, she's not returning. Um... I really do feel, and I would stand on the hill and scream this. <laughs> What's up, Helen? Oh, my God. Shout out to Helen, y'all. Yes. Sherelle, 1984, baby. She has been here since the beginning. Girl, yes. Shout out to you. Um, I really do feel, I just feel like Candace, when it came to the viewers, I just feel like she was, I feel like she was mistreated. I do. I, I, I think all the girls can get dragged. I think all the girls can get red. I think all the girls can get shaded. But I think that when it came to Candace, and especially Candace and Wendy, it was a vitriol that was thrown at them that I just did not see amongst other housewives. Some housewives, Kenya maybe. I never really got it. I never understood why so many people like hated Candace. Like to the point where you would want to inflict violence on this lady. Like I just didn't understand it. Like I just, I re I'm not even like BSing y'all. I just didn't understand why like this girl got y'all worked up so bad to the point where you would want to see her hurt. It was the weirdest thing to me. I used to always say that if I was Monique, I would be embarrassed if I was Monique. Because a lot of the times when you saw people mention Candace and Monique's name in the same sentence, you were not saying you wanted Monique back because, oh, she's just this entertaining housewife. You were not saying you wanted Monique back because she had this overwhelming personality and she could light up the room when she walked in. Girl, y'all wanted Monique back just so she could bang Candace's head on the table. That's the way you looked at Monique. You looked at Monique like the violent hood rat gutter snipe who just want to beat people up. That's the only reason y'all would call for Monique to come back to the show. Just so she could be violent towards somebody. I never understood it. If I was Monique, I would be just absolutely bothered that that's the only reason why y'all wanted me back on the show. Just to beat somebody up. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing to me. People swore up and down that Candace has a smart mouth. She does. <laughs> but I thought y'all, I, I thought y'all go up for the girls who read and shade. Oh, she go, she goes below the belt. 
Girl, going below the belt, going below the belt is accusing someone of a sex dungeon. Going below the belt is saying that you and your husband will want to take me back to your home. Hey, Portia and Phaedra. That's going below the belt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> going below the belt, y'all love Phaedra, is telling a woman who you know wants to have children that may be struggling to have children, making fun of her situation. That's going below the belt. Karen can sit right, right across from, from Giselle and say she's a hoe. Hey, hey, baby! You's a hoe from Hampton University. And you got a hot box. And she made fun of Giselle's mental health. Because they say that Jamal was, dragging, uh, Jamal was dragging Giselle so goddamn bad, she had to go check into a mental health institution. That's what the alleged T is. And when the Karen mentioned Sing Sing, she was talking about Giselle supposedly being in a mental institution at one point. But y'all say that's not going below the that's not going below the belt. I just never understood the hatred that people have for Candace. I really didn't. And Candace is one of those people. The people who have been on my channel for a long time, if you go back and watch my discussions about Real Housewives of Potomac, you will see that I never went up for Candace like that. Candace was one of those girls I could take a leave. If she was there, she was there. If she wasn't, she wasn't. I didn't go up for her at the first reunion. I thought she was doing too much. Like, girl, who? Why is she doing? I feel like she's doing too much, girl. Like, what are you? I started to take up for Candace because I felt like she was being mistreated. But nonetheless, Candace is not coming back. Um, if I was her, I would probably leave to girl. Y'all drug that girl too much. Girl, y'all drug that girl too much. It was almost to the point where girl, like, girl, I can't even get on Twitter and just do a one-two without the girls. Girl, you want me to get my head beat? Girl, you want me to get my head smashed in? Girl, y'all be sending death threats to the housewives. Like, it'd be team too much. I think we all can get swept into the housewife world. Don't get it twisted. But I think it's, a, it's one thing to get kind of swept into the world, you know, and have a strong opinion versus, like, wanting to say, I, I just, like, every time you get on the Instagram or Twitter, you just want somebody to get their ass whooped. Oh, let me read the super chat. Hold up, y'all. It's a couple of, oh, come on. Reading someone is nothing compared to starting rumors about their marriage, accusing someone's husband, and talking about people's finances. Okay, thank you, Nikki B. Thank you, Lookout for Lauren. And, at, and as a proud Hampton University graduate, I'm pissed Karen associated us with Giselle and that BS. Thank you. But yeah, it is what it is, you know. Um, She's leaving. Um, do you think that Candace got fired or she left on her own? You know, the girls always say the girls don't never quit. They always get fired. That's what that's what they say. I've heard Kenya say that too. Girl, uh, ain't nobody walking away from housewives. They're getting fired. I do believe that. I don't think that's the truth across the board. I do believe there are a couple of housewives that have voluntarily walked away, even though I don't too much care for the girl. I think Portia walked away. I don't think she got fired. I think Candy walked away. I don't think she got fired. Lisa Vanderpump, like she walked away. I don't think she got fired. Um, I think there's a there's a I think there's a handful of the girls who actually did. Like I think Monique actually did walk away. I do believe that Monique walked away. Um, I believe Candace walked away. I do. I do. I believe I believe she walked away. I think Candace walked away. I don't think Candace got fired. I think Robin got fired. <laughs> I think Robin got fired. 
I think Marlo and Sonya, they got fired. Like, Marlo definitely got fired. Marlo was not walking away from that check. Girl, Marlo down to the people. Girl, Marlo is a Fashion Nova model now. Hello? Now, girl, don't get it twisted. A check is a check. Work ain't honest, but it pays the bills because I damn sure take a Fashion Nova. Girl, check right now. I wouldn't turn it down for in a heartbeat. Would not turn it down. But Marlo over there, girl, is a Fashion Nova spokesman. <laughs> Girl, Mar Marlo don't even. Girl, let me tell you something. Marlo, Marlo don't even. When was the last time you associated Marlo with Fashion Nova? So the simple fact that every time I look up, I see Marlo on Instagram, girl, in a Fashion Nova outfit. I think Marlo probably, if they bring that show back, Bold and Bougie, I could see Marlo going over to Carlos King show, Bold and Bougie, honestly. Marlo, sell, uh, there we go. Marlo selling fashion over. She's going to be selling fat tummy tea next week. Watch. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying. Marlo did, Marlo did not walk away from Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's how we know she got fired. Marlo did not walk away from Royal Housewives of Atlanta to start selling fashion over. <laughs> Marlo wears fashion. Yes, she do. Oh, Marlo don't wear. Now, I don't think Marlo wears fashion over, but she is she is wearing fashion over on Instagram. In real life, do I think Marlo's wearing fashion over? No. Do I think, but on Instagram, she's definitely, she definitely has a partnership with fashion over now. Definitely. Go look at her Instagram page. <laughs> um thank you thank you Miss Rochelle cousin in season 8 episode 11 Mill told NECA that she got, a, got, got an IUI injection and that's how she got pregnant with her son how was paternity in question Mia be lying. Let me say something. I have not watched this episode, but it was something that happened in the clip that I saw on 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 Instagram that made me know that Mia and Gordon probably lied about the paternity. I forgot what they said, but it, it was something with the timeline. I was like, "Girl, how is it? If the son is, anyways, I just thought that was lying." I, I haven't I haven't watched the episode of Potomac yet. Girl, I, on some, if we're going to be honest, girl, I'm not even in no rush no more. Girl, girl they said Candace is leaving. I said, oh, girl. What y'all think Wendy going to do? That season 9 is going to be a mess. Watch. According to Heavenly and Carlos uh, Live, there's a chance that Candace might be pregnant, which prompted her to leave, allegedly. Look out for Lauren. Thank you so much for the super chat again. Girl, I heard people saying that online earlier that they said that, she, that they think she might be pregnant. Um... This is the thing with Potomac. Shout out to Stacy. I think it was her who said this on Instagram, not on Twitter. Potomac is not even in the situation, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but Potomac is not even in a situation where they can just like rotate the girls. You know how like if push came to shove, like on Atlanta, if they needed to, they could try to bring some girls back from the past who probably, like, if they wanted to, they could probably try to go get, it's, it's Tanya time, right? Like Portia. Like they have girls on deck that if they need it, they could try to get them to come back because it's been on for more than a few seasons. The girls have been in and out, you're right. They could try to go get like a friend of a show. Like when you think about Potomac, Potomac really hasn't done a has hasn't really done a lot of moving the girls in and out. It's pretty much been like the same cast since season one, right? They can't go get Katie because the thing is, no shade to Katie. Mentally, her health is not there. It's not strong. She can't come back. I mean, they could go get Monique. Sharice is a friend. You see what I'm saying? So like they they. They, anybody they bring on is going to have to be either a new girl, which is fine. We like new girls. Or it would have to be them promoting some of the girls that are already on the show. Like they would have to either like make 
uh, Kiriana a friend, bring her back, bring Jackie back, or just bring in new girls and just hope that it hope that it works. But then it's like, are we still gonna go down the same path? Do y'all are y'all really friends with these girls, or are y'all just bringing in some new girls from the DMV? Like I just feel like Potomac has now put themselves in a situation where it's like, girl, like what are y'all gonna do? Because if y'all bring in the girls, like, and like with Wendy, who, who, who gonna be Wendy friend? Because if Robin is really gone, that's what the reports are saying. I don't, I don't know how next, I just don't know how next season is going to play out for Potomac. I honestly don't. I really honestly don't. Because Wendy, baby, you on the island by yourself, girl. It's going to, but I feel like at that point, they're going to have to make Kirion, Kirion, girl, you, you know, I cannot say that girl's name. How do you say that girl's name? Girl, I want to, I've been wearing that girl. <laughs> Please give us a cash prediction, Rodney. I think next season is, of course, it's going to be Giselle. Of course, it's going to be Karen. That's the of course. Like Giselle and Karen, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like Giselle. I don't want Giselle. To, I don't want Giselle. Ki, 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 Kiarna, Kiarna. Baby, I'm acting like I'm slow. Girl, I feel like I'm a girl. I feel like I'm learning how to. <laughs> girl, I feel like I'm trying to. Girl, I feel like I'm back in elementary school, learning how to pronounce few. Girl, few. Ooh, sound it out. Few. Ooh, girl, sound it out. Fu. No, sound it out. Fu. 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 Ooh, no. Few. Make it go through your teeth. Few. Uh, okay. Kiri, uh, girl, I'm acting like I'm slow, girl. I'm gonna call her girl Kiki. <laughs> Come on, girl. I feel like I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, girl, I feel like I'm dumb. How do you say that girl's name? Kiriana. Kiriana. Okay. Kiriana. Ki Ki Kiarna. Oh, it's Kiarna. It's Kiarna. That's what it is. Kiarna. We gonna call her K, <laughs> okay? Cause, cause I saw the clip. Ashley called her K, so we gonna call her K, <laughs> okay? Um, but if they bring Ki Kiana back, if they bring K back, they're gonna have to make K a housewife because K can't be a friend. I mean, I guess you could keep her a friend because the truth of the matter is, on Real Housewives of Miami, most of the friends on the show are really housewives. They just don't have the housewife title. To me, Adriana is a housewife. Mar Marisol is a housewife. Kiki is a housewife. They're just not a. They're just not an actual housewife, but they have a housewife position. So maybe they could bring Kay back, and maybe she could still be a friend, but she participate as a housewife. Where you know, that's kind of getting over the girls a little bit. Quiet as this kill. If you're gonna use me as a housewife, I need you to pay me like a housewife. Hello. I don't know what they're gonna do next year. I really don't. And then Ashley. It looks like Ashley. Is online begging for her job. We'll talk about that in another video. It looks like Ashley is online begging for her job. She didn't got nervous. So you got Giselle. You have can't. You have Karen. They're they're definitely coming back. Everybody else. I then I don't know. I honestly don't know. Wendy could come back. Necker. I don't know. Because now you have Robin and you have Candace that are not coming back. We know Candace is definitely not coming back. It hasn't been announced by Robin yet, but the blogs are reporting that she's not coming back. Do you bring NECA back? Why? NECA's not even needed quiet as it's kept. Does Giselle bring a friend on now? You know what I'm saying? Like, Giselle, it's been nine seasons. I guess, Giselle, you can go ahead and introduce us to one of your real friends. I don't know. Star Keisha, thank you. They could bring back a scholar. Oh, they could bring back a scholar. You know, a scholar, a scholar was a lot, was boring to me. However, I will also give a scholar this much. A scholar tried to work. 
But I, when you think about, even though she just wasn't this, I won't bring a scholar back as a as a housewife. I would bring back a scholar as a friend if she came back. If a scholar comes back, I will, it will only be in a friend capacity. I don't want to see. A, I don't. I, mm, I don't know if I want to see a scholar as a housewife yet. A scholar was cute. She could dress. She came in, even though you know she went after Karen. It really didn't make sense the way she went after Karen. I have to be honest. Like, oh girl, I heard you like to drink or something like that. Like, okay, girl, you coming in? Like, okay, girl. Um, but at least she didn't try to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I really don't. Hopefully, they'll figure it out. I'm gonna tell you right now. You know, I said it this year, but let me tell you something. One thing about it, two things you show, three things for certain. Girl, once my girl start leaving, you know, I will clock out of the show. Girl, you know, I didn't watch season whatever the season that was. Keenan, when Keenan didn't come back, I didn't come back either. <laughs> okay. When Kenya, when 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 Kenya, when Kenya, when Kenya named it, when Kenya pitched it and pop up in a promo, girl, I didn't pop up. Girl, I didn't pop up either. <laughs> Okay, so girl, if Wendy if Wendy leaves too, oh girl, girl, the only reason why I'm barely hanging on is because Wendy is still there. I'm assuming, but if Candace and Wendy leave, oh girl, at that point, girl, y'all can, girl, y'all can have it. <laughs> y'all really let Giselle go down there and turn that show inside out, upside down, round and round. Y'all gonna get exact. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let's go. Let's move on. Baby. I don't know what's going um, over in Miami, Los Angeles, and they say New York. But the people said that the feds is knocking on doors and telling these niggas to put their hands behind their backs. When I tell y'all, honey, Puffy, you're about to go to jail. <laughs> you my sir, sir, you're going to jail. And like I said in my video earlier, I hope you ain't put your children in none of that shit that you got going on. And while y'all was all down, no tea, no shade, <laughs> Why y'all was all down to the Instagram talking about, oh, why they got his kids? Why they why they got the kids in handcuffs? Girl, first of all, I need y'all to stop acting like Justin. Girl, even though his mama act like he 18, Justin is a 30-year-old man. The other boy is about to be 26. And why y'all so worried about why they was in handcuffs, y'all should have been worried about what a fucking daddy was. Because they said the daddy, Jet Puffy, girl, was over on the other side of town somewhere. Y'all more, uh, more upset at the feds for putting, telling them to put their hands behind their back than y'all at Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy left them. Girl. They say Diddy's love air private jet tracked amid raids. Down on Caribbean Island. Diddy's homes were raided. Hold up. Diddy's homes were raided in the U.S. to kick the week off. Girl, ain't that messy? But the guy's own private jet is miles away in a completely different nation, although it's unclear if he's aboard himself. TMZ has tracked Diddy's personal love air LLC jet, the well-known black, uh, black Gulfstream 5 that Diddy has flaunted and flown for years now. And it looks like the aircraft is currently on ground in Antigua, which is down in the Caribbean. <laughs> they don't know if he there or if the jet just there. I said, I know Puff, I know Puff that ain't left his children. 
Because y'all so worried about the kids. He ain't worried about them. Those are grown ass men. Hello? And like I said, girl, Misa, baby, if Justin ain't if Justin ain't in nothing, you better go snatch him up for his ass be in jail. But the truth of the matter is, girl, they if Justin was involved in any of that shit that was going on, if King Combs was involved in any of that shit that was going on, baby, they going to jail with their daddy. I just said, if, I don't know. I think everybody there that was at the house, regardless of the location, was told to come out and they put handcuffs on them. That doesn't mean that they were arrested. That means that, girl, you're going to sit your ass out here until we get done looking in this house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think they were arrested. If they were arrested, more than likely it would have hit the news by now. So I don't think they were arrested. But y'all better hope, Misa, you better hope that Puff Daddy ain't had them kids down there, his kids down there in that fuck shit. Girl, Puff about, Puff about to be in Bali, honey, right with Russell Simmons. Hello? Talk about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, now he's sending Indian salad shit. Girl. Now, now he do not not now, now, now he now he into yoga. Now he wearing sweatpants and t and t shirts every day. Girl, girl. Now he done changed the whole lifestyle up, honey. He gonna be right. In, he gonna be right there beside, right there beside uh, Russell. Girl with his hands like this. Watch. Mm. Hmm. Thank you, Tori, for the cash out. Thank you so much. I'm telling y'all. And then Carisha. Carisha, girl. <laughs> Carisha, please. God, no, Carisha, girl. Carisha, baby. Girl. I sure hope you stacked your money. I sure hope you still got them receipts to them Chanel bags. I don't think Carisha, I don't think Carisha, you know, gonna be fouling for no food stamp card no time soon. Okay. I don't think Carisha is <laughs> in all seriousness. I don't think that Carisha is close. Um to being indigent, but I do feel like, girl, based off of the last City Girls album, that was a flop. Um, girl, all your jobs that you got, girl, was through your man. So I just hope that while you was over there, girl, whatever allowance Puffy was giving you, honey, you was stacking your money up. And all them Chanel bags and Chanel clothes you got, I hope you still got the receipts. Because you might have to return them. They already said you was down there selling your clothes like Play-Doh's Closet. Girl. I said, I know that's right, girl. Sometimes a girl got to do what a girl got to do. That's how Carisha down there. Carisha selling her clothes like it's Play-Doh's Closet. I said, I know that's right. Girl, I mean, girl. I ain't mad at it. I don't have to take, I, you know, I don't have to take my clothes down. Back in the day, I, you know, it's this place called Buffalo Exchange where you can go sell your clothes. Girl. I don't have to go sell my clothes at Buffalo Exchange. When I had, you know, when I was down and out and had a few dollars to my name, I had to go sell my clothes. I guess ain't nobody, ain't nobody too good for selling their clothes. <laughs> Even Carisha. Girl, Carisha said, Carisha said she opened up a boutique and she's selling, she sell, she's selling her um, nicely worn clothes. Hello? But she said that's not new for her. Carisha said she's been selling her clothes. I used to go to the one off West Timer mm -hmm, all the time and sell my clothes. And I would also, girl, I, not, I, I'm some real shit, though. Like, all BS aside, if you like to go to thrift stores, I know some people don't like thrift stores. Back in the day, I need to, I, you know, I need to start going back to Buffalo Exchange. Back in the day, I'm telling y'all, you could find some of the best pieces at a thrift store. I'm telling you, you could find some of the best pieces at a thrift store. Cute shit. 
Um, so if you are into, you know, I would suggest go to a thrift store because you could really walk in and like hit a lick. I'm talking about good, cute clothes on some real shit. Girl, just take a girl on some real. <laughs> can I say something, girl? I know thrifting ain't for everybody. I'm not mad at it. I have shopped at a thrift store plenty of times. Um, but girl, it ain't no different than going to girl. Quiet is just kept. If you really, if you want to be honest about it, it ain't no different than going to the mall. <laughs> what you think? What you think? What you think? What, you think, what y'all think y'all do? Y'all wear y'all shit on Friday, take it back to the mall on Monday, and girl, all they do is put that shit on the clothes hanger and put it right back on the sales floor. Hello. So quiet as it's kept, you really thrift this girl when you go to the Galleria. Y'all just don't want to accept it. <laughs> y'all think y'all really thrifted when you go on the Saks and when you go on the Nordstrom. Girl, all, all the people, all they doing is girl putting that shit right back on the hanger and putting it right back on that goddamn sales so floor. I done seen it with my own eyes plenty of times. <laughs> okay. They're going to look at it. Girl, they're going to look at it. They're going to check to see if it got some stains in it. If it got a stain, they might take it to alterations and tell them to get the stain out of the item. And get, when once they get the stain out of the item, they're going to put it right back on the floor. I can tell y'all exactly what's going to happen. They return it. They look at it. If it look clean, they put it on the floor. If they look at it and it has a stain or if it's wrinkled, they take it to alterations. They have alterations either steam it. They have them take out take out the stain, and then they put it right back on the floor. So y'all girls be thrifting anyways. <laughs> Can we go be <laughs> Y'all just don't want to accept it. <laughs> y'all just don't want to accept it. <laughs> when y'all be going to, you know, when y'all be going to the um, when y'all be going to sex, I don't know sex policy. I don't know how sex works. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they go and then if the if the tag is off, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. If the tag is off, the only thing they're gonna do, they're gonna go into the system. <laughs> Girl, I can tell you, I can tell you I worked at Nordstrom for eight years. I know exactly how this shit goes. Girl, if the tag is off, all they're gonna do is go into the system. Well, if they don't have a tag when they return it, but they still have the UII. But if the tag if something is wrong with the tag, period, all they're gonna do is get a get a get a tag, put in the UPC. Create a new tag, punch the tag and address or the item, and then hang it back on the floor. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby, see the trends, okay? I'm just telling y'all what it is. That's what the girls do. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm -mm. We got 1,230 people in the room. Can y'all please do me a favor and like the video? Thank you so much. It helps out a lot. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, Puffy, girl, you in danger. Um, Justin and, you know, um, what's the name? King Combs. Like I said, I, don't, I think they're okay. I think if something was going to happen to them today as far as them being arrested, we, we would have heard about it by now. I have heard that, girl, Justin, I have heard your name being mixed into some of those parties, though. Allegedly. So I don't know. Where was Quincy? Girl, I don't know. Baby, when I say baby, when the baby, when the chickens come home, they come home to roost. Hello? Puffy, baby, you about to go down, baby. Puffy, you going down. Quincy is fine. Oh, fine ass. <laughs> okay. That's what I heard. I heard Justin was, I heard that Justin was in on the shit too. The people, the, let me say something. The girl, the, the, the girls low key been trying to tell us about Puffy. Misa tried to tell us about Puffy. Kamora tried to tell us about Puffy. Cassie told us about Puffy. Puffy got all the niggas scared to talk. Have y'all noticed none of the niggas will talk about Puffy? They know. Puffy will blow your car up. Ooh, Kim Porter, girl, you know. 
Let me tell y'all something about Miss Kim Porter. May she rest in peace. I don't know a lot about Kim Porter, but I do know this. Even though it's none of our business, it's none of our business. When someone passes away, I don't think that it's necessarily right that we know all of a sudden their medical history. Like, that's none of our If we didn't know, if we didn't have access to whatever they were going through when they were living, we shouldn't have access, access to it now, now that they're dead. But the truth of the matter is, anytime someone dies, especially a celebrity, we will find out the reason, the cause of death, girl, quick. I was about to say 24 hours. But we're going to find out by the end of the week how that person passed away. Whether it was self-inflicted, whether it was cancer, whatever. And the simple fact that Kim Porter passed away and we still ain't heard. We still don't know how that lady went home to glory. We still don't know. Well, we know. <laughs> we know. They said pneumonia. Mm. Thank you, Run Me My Coins, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, it was a pneumonia. That's all it was. Oh, okay. This is my first time hearing that. I ain't never heard nobody say what she had. Where did pneumonia come from? Because Kim was just, because Kim was fine. <laughs> Listen, people die all the time out the blue. You never know when it's your time to go. Hello? So we got to make the best of our life while we here. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me shut up. Why, <laughs> girl, if they make me disappear. Okay. What did Al be sure say? Hello? I ain't heard that either. The people say, you know, I ain't never heard that until now. Hello? I'm not saying they lying. I'm just saying I ain't never heard that until today. Okay? And I'm a nosy bitch. <laughs> okay? I ain't heard it. Jay-Z better have his shit together quiet as it's kept. Okay? Jay-Z, they calling your name. You know y'all. Let me shut up. Thank you, R, uh, R, R, wait, R, H, O, oh, wait, R, Hose. I don't want to say Hose, Hose. Girl, I don't miss your whole name. Well, thank you for the super chat. I love you so much, Rodney. You bring me so much joy. I'm a couple weeks pregnant. Congratulations. Baby will uh, recognize Uncle Rodney's voice more than hubby's. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Jess, for the super chat. Baby, yes. Jay-Z, honey. Cause baby, the way the way the way quiet is this kept, the way they say you was passing around Aaliyah and Dame Dash was passing around Aaliyah when she was younger. That's a, that's what the word on the street is. So, and I'm sure you know Miss Aaliyah not here no more. I'm sure it was some other girls too. If they say it alle allegedly, girl, they say y'all was passing around Aaliyah. Hello, allegedly they say you was fooling around with Foxy, and we know you. And allegedly they say that girl. He had his eye on Beyonce since she was 16 years old. And then all of a sudden, girl, y'all became friends, girl, when she turned 19. <laughs> and then she turned 25, and she started talking about how you taught her how to be a woman, girl. But see, that's the shit y'all don't want to talk about. <laughs> mm. 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 Let me tell y'all something. If y'all think Puffy was a, let me say something. Puffy ain't the only one. Puffy, your ass is going down. But if y'all think that Puffy was the only one, 
all those niggas run the same circles. Hello? And once upon a time, all those niggas got down the same exact way. Some of them probably, you know, when it came down to them being predators, they were probably a lot more careful. But I think that a lot of them, Puffy is not the only one. He is not the only one. That don't mean that Puffy should not should not um, go down for doing what he's done just because the other people ain't got caught because your ass is still going to jail. Because I believe everything they said your ass done did, I believe your ass did it. Period. Thank you, Tanisha Murdoch. Thank you so much for the super chat. I believe you did it. I believe you did it. We have 1,319 people in the uh, chat. Can y'all please, 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 please do me a huge favor and like the video. Honey, hold up. Tyrus World, lock his mama up. I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing. But you know I thought about her and that blonde wig. I don't want to say it. But I promise to God, I have been thinking about his mama. I'm not saying his mama is out of here, girl. You know. <laughs> but... Girl, I just feel like, you know what? I feel like when it comes to Puffy, I think that there are a lot of people around Puffy, just like a lot of people around the other men who were taking advantage of these women. They knew they didn't say anything because they knew that they couldn't. They were probably scared, right? Because the nigga was out here blowing people cars. Like, who car did he blow up? Not Big Sean. Kid Cuddy. He blew up Kid Cuddy's car. So I, you know, not to, not to defend the people, because that's not what I'm doing, but I can see how people who were probably around Puffy, some of them were probably scared to say something because clearly he's a very powerful man. And if you out here blowing motherfuckers cars up, then girl, what makes you think that you won't blow my shit up next? Now, some of them also, I believe they participated in the shit. I believe some people knew and were scared to say something. I think that some people knew and because they were probably getting paid, you know, kind of like with R. Kelly. You see how everybody did R. Kelly, right? Everybody knew what was going on with R. Kelly. It wasn't until the money, it wasn't until the money dried up. Now everybody wanted to be down to the documentary. Now everybody wanted to be in a documentary talking about I saw him having sex with uh with Aaliyah. Well, bitch, what you do when you saw him having sex with a teenage girl? <laughs> Now, every, now everybody want to be down to the surviving R. Kelly documentary now that the money is dried up. <laughs> right? Right? So y'all knew <laughs> y'all didn't have a problem with it because the money was still flowing in. But now the nigga is in jail and now y'all want to come down to the goddamn documentary showing y'all faces talking about, yeah, we knew something was up. I saw him having sex with Aaliyah. The door swung open. Bitch, what? <laughs> yeah. Hello? But you didn't care because you were getting paid. Right, you look the other way. Some people definitely should be held accountable. Some people, I think, were probably scared. Cause Puffy, baby, they say your ass was hell on wheels, baby. That's what they say. Thank you again for the super chat. We will do everything possible to protect baby. How how did these parents fail their kids so hard? Sloan B has been chirping about Jay-Z and B2. Scary. <sighs> I think some people look at some people look at their kids like a cash cow. And don't let your kids have a little bit of talent. I think that's what happened with a lot. I think that's what happened with a lot of R. Kelly victims. A lot of uh, some of these girls had a little bit of talent. And the parents wanted to make sure they had their five-bedroom, five-bath house. They wanted to make sure they had their two cars. They wanted to make sure they had a pool in the back. So if I think my daughter can become a star, and if I got to push her over here and push her over there towards that predator, then that's what I'm going to do. And then when we get caught, I'm going to act like I don't know what was going on.
Thank you, Resini. My my theory, the powers that be didn't need him anymore. So they allowed Cassie to start the takedown. Things that were said about him have been out there for years and no one did a thing. That's true. A lot of this stuff has been out there for years. And they know. Remember, even Matthew, even Matthew knows. You know, Matthew. I think. I think when Destiny's Child worked with R. Kelly, Matthew made sure that the ladies. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I feel like I'm telling the story the right way, though. I think when Destiny's Child worked with R. Kelly, Matthew made sure that the ladies were not left alone with R. Kelly. So even in Matthew's case, he knew that R. Kelly was a predator because if you didn't think that, there would be no need for you to make sure that your daughters are not left alone. But you knew that he was that way, but you didn't care because it was R. Kelly and you probably thought that you could get a hit they had chaperones. They were never left alone with R. Kelly because, again, a lot of the people knew what R. Kelly was doing. They believed the rumors. They just wanted to get whatever they could get out of the situation. Now, my Beyonce, my Kelly, my Michelle, my La whoever was in the group at the time, I don't remember. They can't be left with the nigga. We're going to get this song and we're going to make sure somebody always here. And when they're done with the song, get their asses up out the, uh, up out the studio. That's how that went. They be knowing. They know. They just don't care. They know. <laughs> they all know. They all put their children in positions where they could be taken advantage of. I don't know what song. I just remember reading that um, online. And I think that came out of Matthew's mouth. Let's Google it. Let's Google it. I don't want to be on her line with nobody. There we go. Yep. It was for the life soundtrack. Hold on, let me read it. Okay, let me look at it. Okay. So this was reported on... Okay, so it says Matthew knows on R. Kelly's attempt to work with Destiny's Child. Okay, so I probably got some of the story wrong. R. Kelly has been catching major heat following the release of the Lifetime documentary S Surviving R. Kelly. The six-part series details several se sexual and physical abuse allegations the singer has faced over the span of his nearly 30-year career. Um, during the time, Chicago Crooner has worked with major stars, including Michael Jackson um, to Celine Dion. Um, after putting in a request to collaborate with R&B group Destiny Child in the 90s, However, okay, I might, I'm, I'm probably wrong. Okay, here we go. He was rejected by Beyonce's father and group manager, Matthew Knowles. Speaking to the Metro uh, UK, the music executive revealed that the song Kelly submitted was subpar by his standards. Oh, okay. Maybe I had the story wrong. R. Kelly was managed by Sony. This is why we have to Google sometimes. Um, R. Kelly was managed by Sony, by someone I won't name. And at the time, they would almost force you to record with their artist set knows. And R. Kelly wasn't cheap. It was $75,000 plus travel costs. So we're talking $100,000 for a song. I personally rejected the song because I didn't think it was a good song. Oh, okay. 
I personally rejected the song because I didn't think it was a good song, not just because of his reputation. That was around 1998, and we had just begun, begun to hear some of those things. Still, word of Kelly marrying singer Aaliyah at the age of 15 was certainly a factor. His daughter and his three group, uh, group mates were all teenagers themselves at the time. The girls were 15, 16. When they went to the bathroom, Tina would go with them. They did not leave our eyes. Although Kelly never had the opportunity to work with Destiny Child directly, he did write a song, Simulate Me, for the group that was featured on the soundtrack of the 1999 Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, uh, Eddie Murphy film Life. Um, Kelly was not present at the time of the recording, and Knowles made sure that the track would not be included on any Destiny Child albums. Okay, so I have to retract myself. That was false. I'm glad I got. I'm glad I corrected myself and read the article. Okay, I had it wrong. Sometimes players fuck up too. So Matthew, he did not allow them to work. R. Kelly wanted to work with Destiny's Child. Baby Matthew, but I was out here dragging you, girl. I mean, it wouldn't be too far fetched. Your ass ain't shit anyway. You see, you see how you see how I just did. You see how I just did? You see how I just went back and keep, you see how I apologized and went back right? It ain't too far-fetched anyways, nigga. The way your ass is so goddamn trifling. It won't be too far-fetched anyways. Child to Matthew knows. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Notice ever since Diddy sued them white folks over that liquor in revolt, them people been on his neck. What's a good non-chain restaurant to eat in Houston? Be there this weekend, Southern Purchase. Um, child, I go to the same place. Oh, you can try Willie G's. You can try Willie G's. That's a seafood restaurant. Oh, is that a chain restaurant? I think it is. I think Willie G's is a chain restaurant. I don't know. I go to the same places. I'm not the, <laughs> I'm not the, like, you know. I don't, I don't know where to go. Girl, I go to the same places. Chipotle, when I want Chipotle. Girl. Papacitos. <laughs> pa um, Papa John. I mean, not Papa John's. Um, what's it called? Not Papa John's. What's that place called? Papacitos, Papados. McDonald's, okay, give me a double filet of fish. I, I, I eat at the same places. BB's, right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, thank you, Bob Meets World. Hey, cousin in chat. I'm late shaking my head, but child, it's safe to say 2024 has been showing all the way out today, baby. Boy, it's been a mess nonstop. And girl, I'm not even done with the hot topics, girl. I got two other videos I got to do. I, I'm not talking about it in this video. I still got to talk about Portia. I still got to talk about Simon. I still got to talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. And I still got to talk about Martha's. I don't know if I'm doing. Are we reviewing more? I think I'm. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I want to review Martha's Vineyard. I know. I said I was. I know I'm going to watch it. I don't know if I'm going to review it. I don't know. Oh, Turkey Leg Hut. You can try. You can try, uh, try Turkey Leg Hut. I forgot about Turkey Leg Hut. You can try turkey leg cut. I'll probably have a Potomac tomorrow. How was the episode? Was it a lot going on? Or was it really just... Because the only thing that I've been seeing is people talking about the fight and Mia and Gordon. If it's not a lot going on, I could probably have it up tonight. But if it's a lot going on, then I'm probably going to have it up tomorrow. But, you know, sometimes if it's a lot, I, you know, I want to just make sure I catch everything. Oh, the Breakfast Club. There we go. See the people telling you the Breakfast Club. The break. You can try the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club is open. They they're open. I think from like seven to two. It's not late, so you got to get there early. Sometimes the line is long. No, not sometimes. The line is always long. The times that I've been where the line wasn't long, you have to get there. You know, I'm not even a morning person like that. But you have to get there like around like eight eight thirty. You'll be fine. If you get there before like probably like before nine at the Breakfast Club, you'll be good. But if you get there, baby, after that, girl, that line start moving, creeping around that corner, honey, and yeah, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yes, there we go. Okay. See y'all gotta y'all gotta help us out. The Warwick, I went there once. Girl, it's no shade. They went up on their prices. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the people on my YouTube channel because I ain't trying to knock down no black business. Southern Purchase, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, then where the, where the ninjas be at? I know you know. Oh, baby, I just found out where the niggas be at, girl. It's a club on Sundays called um, Buddies. So on Sundays, this is where you need to go. Um, oh, here I go. Now, now, now I, girl, see, you see, the people will lie to your face. Okay, so this is where you need to start. Okay. Start at Urban Social. Hey, friend. <laughs> Start at Urban Social. It's kind of like a straight, gay-friendly establishment. The gays be there. Um, but, you know, they don't be doing a whole bunch of carrying on. So you can, go to, you can go to Urban Social. It's very small. So you may want to request a table. I think there's a small fee. Um, but the, 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 the establishment is kind of, it's kind of, it's cozy. Okay. okay. We're going to say cozy. It's cozy. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can start at Urban Social and then you can work your way over to the gay bars. I'm talking about gays. Okay. You can work your way over to Crocker. Crocker is a, a, is a cute little spot you can go to on Sundays. And then the girls pooch on over. It's walking distance. Most of the gay clubs in Houston are in the same area. So you can walk. So you can go to you can go to Crocker. Now, Urban Social is not in the gay area. That's on Richmond Avenue, close to the Galleria. <laughs> okay, so you would have to drive. Now, once you get to the Montrose area, you can pretty much walk. Everything is in the same vicinity. Okay, so you can kind of like bar hop from like JRs. JRs is a, like a white bar, but sometimes the niggas go there too. I think. We walked by Sunday. It really wasn't nobody there. I remember back in the day, JR used to be kind of like a spot on Sundays. Um, here now, now, <laughs> now, now I want to start telling the spots. Okay. Um, so you can go to JR's. Um, but I know what the niggas, the niggas you want to go to Crocker, and then I just found out Sunday. They pooch over to Buddies. Buddies is walking this. It's like right there. What's up, Carlos? It's right there by Crocker. Like a minute and 30 second walk. Like right across the street. Um, so yeah, those are the spots. And I was surprised because back in the day, Buddies used to be called Bayou City. I used to always go to Bayou City. I haven't been in a very long time. You know, I really don't go out like that like that. And so when we went Sunday, I was really surprised because I didn't know. Like, so I, I guess because I think I don't go out, don't nobody else go out. Um, but it was cute. I was like, oh, so the niggas. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> so this is what the niggas be. <laughs> and I kind of caught my life just a little bit. Okay. One of the bartenders there, it was some black dude was fine as hell. Okay. Thank you, Kim Cat. Diddy is sick. He's um wait. Oh, he essayed his own kids are victims too. Uh two fool has been killing an essay girl. Wait, hold up, baby. Hold up, hold up, baby. Hold up. Baby, hold up. <laughs> okay, hold up. Let me read this. Okay, Diddy is sick. He essayed his own kids are victims too. Who has been killing an essay in girls and boys, men and women? Okay. Um, Gene Dill, Tisa Tell, and Sloan Bella expose it all. Okay, there we go, baby. I was I was a little confused at first, baby. Okay. Thank you, Mimi, for the super chat. Thank you so much. But yeah, you can try Willie G's. Um, no, I don't think everybody fine. I don't think everybody fine. Everybody ain't fine. But I do think I have good taste in men, though. Some people will disagree, but I think I do. <laughs> now, the bartender at the bartender at Buddy's, the nigga is fine. Yeah. The nigga is fine. Okay? The nigga is fine. 
He like five eight. He's short. He's a short. He's probably like five seven. Body down, handsome as hell. Girl, he fine <laughs> from head to toe. I said, "Oh, I said there he go. Said, well, there she go." Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Um, it's so much going on today. Yeah, I got I got some videos I need to make. Now he my skin color, baby. He probably darker than me. Mm -mm, he dark skin, baby. He probably darker than me. Girl, he fine as hell. You know him. He dark skin. <laughs> he dark skin. He probably about five seven, five eight. Big ass. Big thighs, waist this big, flat stomach, muscles, handsome as fuck. He fine as hell. I said, God damn. I said, who is that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Young child. Child, you know he was thick. You knew he was thick, child. Thick as hell. Thicker than a snicker. I said, oh my goodness. I said, look at God. <laughs> well, look at God. Look at God. Okay? Mm -mm. Baby, when I tell you, I was so fucked up yesterday. It was ridiculous. Like, it really was. Like, no lie. Because I know what it was. I didn't eat. I really didn't eat a lot yesterday at all. Um, and I just started drinking. And before I walked out the house, I took like three shots of tequila, like boom, boom, boom. And it hit me real fast. Um, so yeah, I was really, it was just a mess. So this morning when I checked my phone, I wanted to go back to sleep, but I also felt like I don't need to go. Like I was like, girl, you need to get up and get, <laughs> get these videos out. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, my head was kind of still spinning. A little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, girl. It was a mess. I said, like, I'm too old for this shit. Okay? But I'm fine now. I'm fine. I ain't drinking no more. I'm not. I'm probably not drinking no more for at least two weeks. Or at least, <laughs> yeah, probably two weeks. I, my goal, I'm probably not going to drink for this week. Let me stop lying. I'm probably not going to drink no more this week. Because I'm done. Girl, my, the, we, call, my, I call, we, call, we call ourselves the cousins, baby. We call ourselves the cousins because we messy as hell. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Camp on West Timer. I don't know how y'all... I've seen people park their cars across the street and be walking to the club. I, 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 I've never been to camp, but I, I passed by, and that parking is a mess. Baby, not even a mess, girl. It's atrocious, girl. That's what we gonna say. It's, it's, it's that bad. Like, I've literally seen people park their cars and, like, be walking down the street. And I know where they're going because they got on club clothes. Girl. Mm-hmm. That's the quickest way. That's the quickest way for me to uh get up out of Dodge. Let me go somewhere and girl ain't no parking, honey girl. That that that's my cue that I don't need to be out anyways. Girl, it's time for me to go home. All that driving around looking for parking spots, girl, that's for the birds, child. Mm-mm. All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'm about to try and watch um, Potomac and see what's going on with them. I heard Mia and Gordon was a hot-ass mess. Girl, I heard that fight, the aftermath was a hot-ass mess. Um, that's all I really hear. That's all I really been hearing people talk about is really the fight and Karen, and not Karen, and um, Mia and Gordon. So I'm hoping that the episode goes by quickly. So we ain't got to worry about doing all the extra shit. All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.